Hi there guys, so we can expect an announcement later this week on Anthony Joshua versus Kubert Pulev. Everything is done, it's virtually complete. The only thing that still needs to be done is where the fight is going to be. I mean, obviously that seems quite important, but that's the thing they have left till last. Now, it's either going to be Spurs or Arsenal, the Spurs new stadium or the Emirates stadium. Now, obviously there is a rivalry on the pitch between Spurs and Arsenal, and now it extends off the pitch as well. Because they both want to stage this fight, Arsenal have asked what do they have to do in order to get this fight and secure it for their stadium. And obviously Spurs has been the favourite. Spurs is apparently the preference for Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. Now Eddie Hearn recently gave an update on the situation and this is what he had to say. It's pretty much Spurs or Arsenal. We were at Spurs on Monday. It's unbelievable. Sensational. I've been in talks with Arsenal for a long time. They were in the running to hold Frotch Groves too. Obviously, their North London neighbours have developed this incredible stadium, but the Emirates is also an incredible stadium. Last night, we spoke to the IBF and we just said that we have a deal in principle. We'll finalise contracts over the next week and we'll confirm the date. End of next week. So that is what Eddie Hearn has had to say about Anthony Joshua's fight with Kubrat Pulev and where it will be staged. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say it's going to be Spurs. I think that is the preference and I think that is the one they have wanted for a very long time. The Emirates is obviously in the running because they are probably offering good money, but I don't imagine it's going to be at the Emirates. I would imagine that it will be at Spurs Stadium and the fight is likely to take place in June. Now, obviously, it's going to be great to have Anthony Joshua back in the UK. We have all wanted that as British fight fans, for him to bring those unified heavyweight world titles back and defend them back in the UK. And obviously, Wembley was off the table. Principality was off the table as well. And it was going to be in London. So it was only ever going to be between Twickenham, Arsenal Stadium, Tottenham's new stadium and the Olympic Stadium. It was only going to be between those four. Now it has been narrowed down to Spurs new stadium and the Emirates as well. Now, I'm not really bothered where it is. I'm just glad it's going to be back in the UK because I was worried that Kubrat Pulev was going to try and drag it somewhere where he can make the most money because he is at the end of his career. This is his last chance in order to make some money and at a world title as well. So he's going to want to squeeze as much out of it as he can. And that is why he was keen to go somewhere else. But he said he was happy to come over to the UK and fight Anthony Joshua in front of his home crowd. So it seems like he is going to be a man of his word and come over to the UK and it will be in London. And in addition to that, it's likely to be in June and we will get announcements very soon as to where that fight will be, what the actual date is and everything else to come with it. It seems like during spring and early summer, a lot of the attention will be on the heavyweight division. You have Alexander Usyk taking on Derek Chisora and you have Dylan White taking on Alexander Povetkin and then the big one Joshua Pulev later on towards the summer. Then you have the Frank Warren promoter show as well, Joe Joyce versus Daniel Dubois. The heavyweight division could look quite different towards the end of the summer. There will be a lot of pay-per-views, so start saving now. It will be worth it. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? The latest update for Anthony Joshua's next fight and where it will be. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click your thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.